Hey, what's up guys? Keenan here with Keenan's Power Fitness. I wanted to do a reaction video today, basically reacting to the whole thing about uh, Doug Miller's natty or not status. So more plates, more dates, did a video talking about Doug Miller and he seemed a little skeptical. He was like, you know, it's hard to say. He was kind of on the fence about whether or not Doug Miller is indeed natty or not. Um, Greg Doucette, I believe, was more on the natty side. He believed that Doug does seem to to fit the uh, the profile for being natural, lifetime natural. So I wanted to give my opinion and kind of talk about it because I don't like seeing all the hate and the the negativity towards Doug Miller. So first off, you got to look at his uh, you got to look at how long he's taken to reach his final form, his peak form, which was his last time on stage he took over 12 years to reach that point so he said he was around 190 pounds depleted before he then carved up and stepped on stage around 200 pounds he's about 5'9 so when you think about it that's not very big it's not huge that is pretty big, but you got to realize after 12 years, he has pushed his body to basically his genetic limit. Like he's, he's done everything he can as far as training, as far as diet to really get his body as, as good as he can get it naturally. So now if you, if you told me he reached that that uh, physique in two, three, four years, yeah, I don't think that's probably, I don't think that is possible, but uh, judging how he made very slow progress over the period of 12 years, I don't see how you could call him a fake natty. You know, that's a long time. He doesn't have any signs of steroid use. His, his physique looks good and his muscles look, his muscles look natural. I mean, his biceps are very impressive. They're, they're his most dominating body part. But, you know, when you look at the rest of his body, you look at his deltoids, his delts aren't majorly capped off. Like, like a lot of guys who use high amounts of androgens um, he was you know, you know he was very lean but he didn't have like that that real hard grainy look that guys get when you when you see these guys using certain PEDs you get that extra graininess so you know he doesn't have any gyno so when, when you look at his physique, I don't see any signs of steroid use. And, you know, he's got a very good, strong foundation. But like he said, he weighed 190 depleted. I think that's very achievable over the course of 12 years. For a guy that's 5'9". I think that's very achievable because... Um, I, like right now, I'm about, I'm around 190. If I got completely depleted, I'd probably be down to about 170. So, when I think about that, he's got 20 pounds of muscle more than I do. And that seems realistic because... You know, I've been training for a long time, but I have not ever 
um, had my diet in check. And that's why I've never built a large amount of muscle. You know, he, he, he takes in a lot of protein every day. He knows how to do carb cycling and stuff like that. So he's got the knowledge and the work ethic. So I believe when you put all that together, that's very achievable. But to most people, it seems impossible because most people don't have the knowledge or the work ethic to get anywhere near that physique naturally. But that's how you build the best physiques. You, you get your diet dialed in, you get your workouts dialed in, you get your work ethic, your intensity, everything dialed in. And you get everything to the level that it needs to be, to a very high level. And then that's when you wanna jump in and start taking the PEDs to give you that boost to give you that extra that extra few steps to get you over that last hill but the reason most people look like crap is because they they jump on the PEDs and they think that is what builds you a physique they think it's PEDs and then diet and then training so that's why most people look like crap because they've got it all backwards. So Doug Miller had it properly. He got his diet and his training in check and he didn't ever want to use PEDs, which is, you know, is a smart decision. Now, if he, if he ever did use PEDs, then he probably could have been you, you never know. Maybe he could have been on the Olympia stage at 240 or 250 pounds shredded. So, uh, but I think he, I think he was definitely. I think he's natural. I think he's got the knowledge and the work ethic. So that's my opinion on it, guys. Uh, no need to hate on him for claiming that he's a lifetime natural. Just watch his interview and uh, what, yeah, watch his interview with Fuad and you know, you can tell that he's being honest and transparent. He's not, he's not lying. He's not bullshitting us. So give that video a watch guys, check it out. And uh, drop your opinions. Let me know what you think. But that's my opinion on Doug Miller. I believe he's a lifetime natty. I believe that physique is achievable. But only if you have the knowledge and the work ethic to get there. And he's got a great deal of knowledge. And he's got a very good work ethic. Um... 99.9% .9 of people don't have either of those, so that's why he is in that 0.1%. That's why he's in that top tier. So, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my content. Keenan's Power Fitness. We'll catch you later.